Oh. It's May 25th. Yeah. I'm sorry. And we're in Atlantic City, Wyoming. After having taken a week or so off during the big windstorms of the last week, it's calmed down some now. So we're headed for about a 55 mile hike down to what's called Desert Road, where we started out, or where we left off last year. We've arranged to get picked up. So, here we go. Well, we're finally back on the trail. We just walked a couple of miles up the hill on the road from Atlantic City to pick up the trail. And now we're headed south and, uh, to the Great Divide Basin. It's, a, it's windy, but it ain't windy like it can be windy. Yesterday was 40 to 50 miles. That's why we didn't go yesterday. Today is probably 15. So that's unfortunate. Because it can be fierce here. Um, so here we go into the uh, beautiful but very desolate and remote area of the country. There's a little cover there, but that'll be the last cover. now I was just saying to the video we're up on top now and uh, have some interesting country up in front of us plenty of water has a, from uh, where we started last year in Laramie or excuse me Rollins for the first 50 miles, there was very scarce water. Uh, on this section, there's a lot more, including the Sweetwater River, which we'll see in probably nine miles or so. Well, here's a cairn. We know we're on the CDT because there's no trail. Well, we've actually picked up a trail here, which is uh, the first trail we've seen. So uh, maybe this will last. We'll see. First trail of the day. A bunch of antelope running across in front of us, five of them. Cool. This mama has triplets. like this uh, because these pack big winds and hail and all kinds of stuff.
we're very happy there's a bridge here. The Sweetwater River. Yeah, you're gonna have to swim no matter where. But so yeah, some places are better than others. Fortunately, there are these things called bridges. Well, it's about 5 o'clock. We've walked 12, 13 miles today so far. Just looking for a place to camp at this point since, um, since we can. <laughs> um, but there's nothing out of wind at the moment. Just got some water a little while back and got enough to camp without water tonight. So uh, we're just going to continue ahead until we find a decent place to camp. It's a little after five o'clock. We've walked about 13, 14 miles, counting the two miles from Atlantic City. And uh, we found a nice place here, to, kind of sheltered from the wind by this hill here, and has flat grass without as many cow pies as in most spots around here. So we're gonna put up the tarp here. Now, I wouldn't recommend you do this at home, but I'm sitting here having a rum and Gatorade while Karen puts up the tarp. Um, this is a very dangerous procedure, and you have to judge the mood of your hiking partner very well before you, you take this risky maneuver. But so far, it's been going pretty well. Our triplex <coughs> regular tent is in the shop now with Z-Packs because the zippers failed. So we've got this old tarp we... Um, bought years ago from Golight, a company that's now out of business. And um, interestingly, this tarp is, of course, has no netting, no floor, no nothing. Uh, it's just a tarp, but um, has a lot of guy points, so you can really get it fairly solid, which is lucky because this is a wild ass place. It's calm right now, but um, that can change any minute. So anyway, this, um, we're using a bunch of clove hitches to tie up the ends, and uh, I think it'll last, sit up there pretty well. We've set through storms in this before in Colorado and didn't get wet, so I think we'll be fine in this. It, um, it's pretty roomy. It's real long. I'd forgotten how long it was, so um, we should be pretty comfortable. We've been lucky with the weather so far. It's uh, very variable here, and uh, the wind can come up. There's animations of rain over there, but when a really bad storm comes, it's opaque, and it, it's obvious that it's malevolent. So um, we're probably reasonably safe at the moment from anything really ugly. So we'll have dinner, and uh, Karen's just blowing up her pad right now. Probably be to bed early as usual, and um, we'll see you in the morning. Well, we're making um, dehydrated potatoes tonight with some bacon bits in it. 
that's dinner. Um, I'm currently um, eating pork and uh, trying to kind of hover around it so the wind won't knock off all the heat. So that's what we're, what's happening right now. Well, it's 6.37 and the weather hadn't killed us yet, but you never know what's going to happen. Well, here we are in our shelter. Looks like it's gonna hold up pretty well. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope the weather didn't get bad tonight. <laughs>